Hello, champion George Duarte for the George's Live Cooking Show, where we do a live cooking show every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we, where we share with you, where we take traditional animal-based type meals and convert them to plant-based, i.e. vegan meals. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make the most amazing plant-based vegan lasagna. And we got a lot of stuff on the table. And I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. The reason why I have it on the table here so you can see it. Normally I have I use the use the back counter and maybe pro probably this counter. So we're just gonna go right to it, get right to it. So this whole process from start to finish it probably be about 90 minutes where you prepare everything, it goes in the oven, you cook it, it takes about 90 minutes for it to cook. So f figure about 90 minutes to two hours from start to finish, okay? And have get your family involved with this. Get, you know, get your kids involved with this. Get your grandkids involved with this. Because cooking is fun. It's, it's, it should be fun. I love cooking. I, I love bringing people together, which is awesome. So we're gonna get right to it. We got a whole bunch of stuff here that we're gonna be doing. So I have a Cuisinart all-purpose blender food processor here. I got a, the Vitamix. I'm gonna be using that to make the sauce. I'm using this to make the, the vegan ricotta. We have some tofu here that we're gonna be using for the ricotta. We're gonna be have, using some of the, the raw cashews. I'm gonna open that up. We're gonna be using some eggplant. We're gonna be using some spinach. We're gonna be using some nutritional yeast, a lot of seasoning, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic. That's gonna go into the, into the TV, 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 TPV, which is textured, pro, textured veg, vegetable protein, which is a soy product. So I'm gonna use a lot of seasonings to make that up. We're gonna soak, also soak, we're gonna soak it in water. We're also gonna soak the cashews in water. So let's get right to that. And back behind me, I got the water ready to do the noodles. So we just go ahead and put the, pour that in there. All the way up in there, sopped up in there. Okay, let that, and we're gonna drain that after that. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that and soak these. That's hot, boy. Then I'm gonna soak those, let those soak for a while. I mean, you can't let them soak for 30 minutes or overnight. I'm just letting them soak for the time that we're, we're here, which is which is fine, You'll be, we'd be, we'll be good. Okay, I gotta put some more water in here. Uh-oh, gotta put some more water in there. That's hot, too. So I, over here I have the water boiling. I'm gonna put some some salt, sea salt in the water. Probably about a tablespoon or so. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna follow the ingredients on the on the box for the for the lasagna. And it says on this particular one, it says six to eight minutes or until cookie cooked. Alright, so just part my back, what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in, like so. This water's nice and hot. And we wanna kinda get those to go around. Get them in there and go around. Put these in here. And once these cook, once these bad boys cook, then we'll be able to Get everything we'll lay we'll lay everything out so I'm gonna I'm gonna be sharing with you over here how to lay everything out from start to finish now this here happens to be 12 ounces normally I would use 16 ounces a, a pound of pasta but this particular pasta from from uh, from Walmart is uh oh Kind of broke a little bit, that's okay. It's still gonna be good. We wanna kinda get this, the more we, the more we get it down in the, in the water. And it's gonna, once, you, once it gets hot enough too, it's gonna, it's gonna bend up in there. I'm gonna bend this up like this in here. Ooh yeah, that water's hot y'all. That water is hot. 
See, the more we keep this in here, the more the noodles start to start to start to fold down in there. Is what you want. You really don't want to touch it because it's hot. That water hot. Okay, we're gonna put the cover on that. And we'll let that we'll let that go for about six or seven minutes. Got it on between six and seven. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season up the, this is gonna be like a sausage, a vegan sausage that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna take some salt and I'm just measuring it out by feel, man. This is, that's about, that's about a tablespoon of salt, right? I'm gonna do probably a half a teaspoon of pepper, fine, fine black pepper, right? I'm going to do some of Georgie's all-purpose rub. Now, keep in mind now, too, we offer some of the most amazing barbecue sauces. We have four amazing flavors, original, family-friendly, mildly hot, a little kick, mangalicious, sweet and spicy, and also really hot. They're vegan. They're uh, amazing. They're gluten-free. Also, we have a, an all-purpose rub that we, that we offer as well. So you can inquire about that by leaving a comment below. And please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our, our channel. We appreciate your, your, your business. That's about a teaspoon or so of the George's All Purpose Rub. Now we're gonna do a little of the, of the, the garlic. We'll do some garlic powder as well. And about, eh, about a tablespoon or so of the garlic and what I do this is a good this is a good tip for you guys is when you use a seasoning when you got a lot of seasoning you take it and put it to one side that way you know you've already used it this is the key that makes it taste like sausage is the fennel so I'll probably do eh, about a tablespoon and a half of fennel that that stuff is going over there I'm gonna do some onion powder I'll do about a tablespoon of onion powder. And it's all really by by sight, y'all. It's just, it's just by sight. Okay, we're gonna check this over here, these noodles over here, and make sure they're kind of stir, stir them occasionally. Let them get stirred up occasionally. I'll turn it down just a little bit to medium. I'm gonna get me a turn it down a little bit more because it gets hot. That pot gets hot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of mix this up. Mix this in really nice. But let all the seasonings get in there. It's got a lot of awesome smell right now. It smells awesome. And it's okay if you don't have that much water because it absorbs a lot of the water. Which is fine. So that's for the that's for the the layer in the in the sausage. So what I'm gonna do is I made up I made I made up enough to do two actual pans. So this is two cups of the TVP TV TP textured vegetable pro, vegetable protein TVP. Say that three times fast. Fair enough. All right, so. Okay, we're gonna turn this down a little bit because it's getting getting funky. It's getting funky with it or jiggy with it. Yeah. All right, so we're awesome. Stirring that up. Got that stir it up, which is awesome. Okay. That's ready. So now what we're gonna do is we want to get the sauce started. I really need to get some more some more use some more water too because what I want to do is add water I want to add water to the add water to the to the sauce and I also want to heat that up a little bit more too heat some more water up in here which is cool bap, bap, bap. okay that takes care of that. 
turn it up a little bit. And what I want to do is get me a little cup to put some water in. I love foghorn leghorn. I keep my feathers numbered for such an emergency. So we're going to put a little water in here because we're going to use that in the can when we use it in the Vitamix to make it up nice. Get me my spatula, my spatula over here. Uh oh, let me see, I got a spatula over here, y'all. A nice narrow one, I believe. No, I know where it is. It's down over here in the bottom. The trusty spatula to get inside way down in there to get inside for this okay so we're gonna take we're gonna use and I made it I got two cups of the the raw cashews too so I'm gonna you only use half of that to, for each batch so I use two of the the tofu's one cup of this I'll use I use half I'll use half of this because I'm making two I'm making two I'll, I'll use only one of, of the eggplants but I'm gonna be making two batches but I'm not, I'm not you guys won't be seeing that but I'm just sharing with you uh, that I'll be making two batches two different pans full so two tofus a can of tomatoes a can of paste a cup a, a cup of raw cashews about a cup of the spinach probably four or five fresh garlic cloves and, we'll, and we, as we go through the process y'all I'll, I'll share with more stuff here as we go here we should be just about close to this uh, being just about ready yeah that's just about ready Just about ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off the burner for now so it won't continue to cook, even though it'll still be cooking, but it won't be really cooking hard. So let's go ahead with this here. All right, fire it up. So this is not, there we go. Sometimes this thing doesn't know how to act sometimes. We had this for a long time, y'all. We had this thing, we had this thing probably 10, 15 years. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I think it popped off. Ooh, kind of scratched me a little bit. Huh. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off. We're going to scrape all this out. We're going to put the the paste in. We're going to do two. We're going to do a can of tomato paste. We'll do three cans of water. And then we'll season this up. On this, this stuff, this paste boy, that paste. When they say it's paste, it's paste because that stuff sticks right to the, right to the surface. It's okay that we get it. We'll get it. And please feel free to leave comments below to let us know what you like best about our cooking shows, our recipes, because we're here to serve you in all of your barbecue sauce needs, also with our, our vegan plant-based recipes. And it's, it's really easy to eat healthy. I mean, it really is. Now again, I'm not telling people that they shouldn't eat meat. All I'm saying is, is that for me personally, I went plant-based almost two years ago. I was 290 pounds. I got up, I ballooned up to 290. And, you know, I was, eat, I was, I was putting on not a lot of meat, but I, I ate enough. And, ooh, almost perfect. Just gotta add a little bit more water to it. And, you guys might've heard me to share this story before. It was one particular time I was driving down the street and I was 
taking my son somewhere and I don't know, I just I got angry about something. I'm like, ugh. And all of a sudden I felt this funny feeling over me. And for some reason it wasn't going away. And I was like, eh, you know. And then when I realized Okay, I got I got to I got to change what I'm doing. That at that at that moment, I got to change what I'm doing. So, went plant-based August of 2018 and I was 290 pounds. Where is my Oh, here it is. <laughs> 290 pounds and after a year's time, I got down to 240. And in that first three weeks, first three days, I actually did a, a plant, uh, I did a, excuse me, a water fast for three days. And then went intermediate, I ate eight hours and fasted for 16 hours. And the weight just literally just came off. And that was, uh, that's, that was without any exercise at that particular time. Okay, this is going to splash a little bit. Okay, that takes care of that. We're going to we're going to add some seasoning. And it's all by it's all by all by feel. By taste actually. That's about a Mm, about a tablespoon of, of, of salt. I'm going to add a little bit of, I'm going to add some basil. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Now you could buy this already made if you want, but I love doing stuff fresh. And you see I put the stuff back over there when I finish using it. That's key. I'd use some, 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 and you can use fresh too when, when you can. Now I'm going to use about, about the same amount, about a tablespoon of, of cilantro. I'll do about the same amount of parsley. I'm going to add just a little paprika. About a teaspoon of paprika. Also, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of Georgie's all-purpose barbecue sauce, the, the original, about a tablespoon. So I'll do this by about that, about a tablespoon. Hmm. So you can use it in everything, y'all. Uh, mm, that's good right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to blend this, blend this up. Blend this up nice. The noodles should be ready. And what I'll do too is I'm going to add a little bit of... Maybe a little of a, a little agave, just for some sweetener, just a little bit. Or even some maple syrup. Just, some, just add a little sweetness to it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, needs a little bit of that's good. Needs a little sweetness. I'll, go, I'll put a little bit of onion in there. Maybe half a teaspoon. A little bit of garlic. Can't go wrong with garlic. About the same about. Blend it up a little bit more. Blend it up nice. Okay, 
that that part's done. I'm gonna put this over here. Put this in the garbage. Put those in the garbage. Now we're gonna get to the fun part. So we can actually move this and put this aside because we're gonna use that shortly. So let's move this out of the way for now. Now we're gonna get to the making up the vegan ricotta. So now, let me just make sure I rinse this off. I'm gonna drain this stuff here too. It's always good to use some, some gloves because you don't want to burn your hands. Because these pots get extremely hot. Just pour the water off. I don't know if you guys can't see, but pour the water off. Can you see that? And pour the water out. Pour the water right off. And we'll let that sit over there for a minute. We got the, the oven at 375 preheated. So I'm gonna take the fresh garlic. I'll leave the stems on. That doesn't have the skin on it. Okay, perfect. You mash this up to release the, the oils in the, the, the oils in the in the garlic at the same time it helps you peel away the garlic so is that three we'll do we'll do one more okay, boom that's in there put this in the garbage Boop. okay now we're going to take we're gonna we're gonna drain these we're gonna drain the we're going to drain the cashews. Rinse and drain the cashews. Now you don't have to go through that process. But I, I like to do it. It makes it it makes it easier. You know, it makes it easier when you when you're putting it in the food processor. Now if you were using it, if you were making it in the Vitamix, I would say don't even worry about it. But because we're making it in the in the food processor, I would say go ahead and 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 do that. Okay, we're just gonna put about half of these, about a cup of this in here. That's about right. And I'll use this part. I use this for the for the ne for the next batch. Put that over there. So now here's the tricky part. Here comes the tricky part. Okay, let me go back over here and rinse this. I got that rinse. I'm gonna put this in another bowl. It actually doesn't have to go in the bowl. I'll put it in the plate over here. I'll be right back with you guys. Here comes the fun part. Taking this, oh, didn't cut. Okay, it's being it's being cute. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this open like this. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm gonna do about half of the frozen spinach. Then. Here comes the kicker. I'm gonna take some of the hot water and pour it on the, the spinach. Cause we, we really wanted to get this. Normally what you like, what you do is have that out already. And we just take this and squeeze out. We take this out and squeeze it out. Squeeze out the excess water. 
normally what you would do is that you would actually this would be already room temperature and then you would squeeze that or heat up you know heat it up and well it would be room temperature let it thaw out and you would get the excess water out like this through a strainer as much as you could Then we go ahead and put this in here like that make sure I rinse this out like that okay this here's corner in the garbage now I got to get another another bowl We want to get. No, let's do it this way. It should peel back. It should peel back. And again, I don't see my uh, my trusty sharp knife over there. So what I'll do is I'm going to pour out this excess water. Okay. Now you could use that water for soup. If you wanted to, you can recycle that water and use it for soup. Because it's basically salt water, basically. And what I do is go like that. Put that like that. And we're going to go ahead and This is the extra firm. Okay. Then we're going to take take this out. And we're going to get as the excess water. I got some paper towels here to kind of get some of the excess water off of it. Or you could use a like a, a, a cloth. You know, like a cloth. Could you squeeze out some good good amount of water? You'll get a good amount of water out of there. You can see this. It's pretty. It's pretty dry. It's. It's not completely dry. I'll do one more. Okay, and we're going to duplicate this again with the other one. And you'll see that it's pretty dry. And then when I squeeze it, we'll get some more water out of it. See that? We'll put that in. We'll do the next one, do the same thing with the next one. And then, let's see there. We'll get the water out. Same thing like we did with the last one. Squeeze all the water out. Some, some, there's some water hiding out in there, see that? And then we'll go. We'll take take this out. A little piece trying to hide up in here. We're gonna put them in there. Boop, boop. Can I get another piece of paper? My cameraman Aaron, my man, uh, my son Aaron, paper paper towel back there. Give me give me two sheets of four sheets. Yeah, this is this one's really got some water in it. This got some really got some water in it, y'all. This one's full of water. So, just squeeze as much as you can. So, oh, see that? This one, this one has some, a lot of water in it. I'll do it again. Being that this one's got a lot of water in it, I'll just go ahead and squeeze it like that. Now, to avoid using a lot of paper towels, you can go ahead and take a clean cloth, clean dish towel and soak it up that way. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do, and I'm just measuring this out as I go. That's about a 
a cup and a half or so of nutritional yeast okay and I'll use a little bit of I use just a little bit just a dab of paprika we got the fresh garlic in there we're gonna add some we're gonna add some 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 basil maybe a half a teaspoon of basil we're gonna use a little maybe a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning we're gonna use maybe just a skosh of salt just a skosh that like that also we're gonna use some lemon juice so I'm gonna go about eh, about a quarter cup of lemon juice and it's all by sight and by taste really then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and blend this up so pulse it we pulse it What you want to do is scrape down the sides. I'll rinse this off. Scrape down the sides. We scrape down the sides, dog. Scrape down the sides. And this becomes the vegan ricotta with with what makes it look green with the the tofu and the and the hokusaita berries and the the what do we call it there the spinach and the Cashews. You want to make sure it's blended up really nice. Can you see that, Aaron? Can you see inside there? Yes, sir, I can. I mean, from the from the camera, you can see inside there. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, let's, let's do a little bit more. Get a quick taste of it. Uh oh, wow, that's banging. I think it needs a little bit, just a skosh more lemon juice. Bat, bat, bat. Also, I think it needs a little bit more salt. Put a little bit of black pepper in here as well. But this is this is just I love doing making food from scratch. It's probably since about ten years or so. It was like we go to a place to eat, and it's like the food was like, eh, it was okay. I'm like, you know what? Or, or it goes go and get food from a place and say, wow, it was really good. How can I go make that myself? Because, you know, not saying this, I don't mind going to a restaurant eating. Eating, however, sometimes you want to. Well, I like to go and and get something and make it for my wife, so she can have some. Where's my spoon? I'll get another one. Let me try it. I think it needs a little bit more lemon juice. I think it needs a little bit more uh, of the nutritional yeast too. It gives it that cheesy, that cheesy flavor. Let's 
It's got enough garlic. Really good, and delicious. Let's see. Move this around. Because the keep in mind too that the the greens, the the spinach gives it that little bit of a bitter taste because of, you know the greens. Let me go ahead and taste this. Yeah. I think it needs a little bit more salt. Don't want it to be bland. All right, there you go. Put that in there like that. That's good. I think what I'm going to do too is add just a little bit more of the basil. Where's my basil? Oh, basil. A little bit more of my my basil and my Italian seasoning, which has basil in it, by the way. Now you can also go fresh. You know when it's when it's in season, I like to go fresh as well. But when you're out of season, you gotta. I try to go as much as possible with organic and organic and uh, dry, you know, dried organic. When we can't get the fresh organic and I, I like to go organic it's just you know with all the things being manip manipulated and people not doing what they're supposed to do with the food i like to do as much as much as possible okay let's do this like this i think it needs just a little bit more garlic Open your hand up there. Just be still. Try that out. Needs a little bit more garlic. Where's my garlic? Mm. Yeah, isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Almost done it. Almost, huh? No, almost I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put a little. Maybe salt. I'm going to put a little bit of a. I'm going to put a little, gar little, put a little garlic powder. Just a little bit. Just let's scratch that out and I'm gonna go a little bit a little bit more salt. We don't want to have it too salty, you know, but we want to have enough flavor in there. So that's like that. Boom boom boom. Okay, that's good and creamy now, which we which we want. Nice and creamy. So what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our okay, that's perfect now. We're gonna use oh that's really good. Dang, that's good. So we're gonna do the eggplant. We'll get rid of this stuff here. My wife has taught me to make sure I go ahead and clean up behind myself when I'm done. All right, so let me get that wire behind me. So I'm gonna cut off this edge, cut this part, this piece off here. Now you could do this a couple of ways. You could go the long, you can go long with this, or you could cut it where you're having slices with the slicer here. I like this too, by the way, too. You gotta be careful because you mess around and cut your finger off. Let me just show you. See that? So we wanna we wanna that's that's chopped. But I wanna go uh, uh I wanna go slicey slice. I wanna go uh try something here real quick. That's chopping it up there, huh? Wait a minute, hold up now. Hold up. We want to change it and go. Let's 
this way, right? Let's see. There we go. We want to do it like that. So what I want to do is put this on like that. See? And we could do it. We could do it this way because it's cool. Because it'd be in like pieces. Ooh, cut my finger. Playing around. It's all right. Pause it. <laughs> 